Hello guys, so if you are walking to this little space for the first time, my name is Utkash Gupta and uh, I make videos about Rocket Tree. So if you have seen videos of Joe Barnard, the BPS Space Channel man, he's so amazing. And also all the community people. If you have seen those videos and you want to build those rocket, so I also want to contribute to this community. So today I'll talk about that how you can set up your MPO6050 sensor, which is the IMU inertial measurement unit, and how you can code it. So, so let's start the video. So let's start by talking that what MPO 6050 is. MPU 6050, it is an IMU. Uh, it measures the pitch, yaw, and roll angles of the rocket. So here, the MPU 6050, it is a combination of an accelerometer and a gyroscope. So what an accelerometer does? Accelerometer measures the gravitational acceleration. We can and we can measure the angles using trigonometry math. And the gyroscope, it and by integrating the angular velocity, what we get is the angular angles. And finally. By the combination of this accelerometer and the gyroscope values, we can measure some precise angle and we can use those angles to correct the thrust vector control and stabilize the rocket. Fifty uses I2C communication. So we have to, so there are two lines, one is clock line and data line. There are two lines in MP6050. There is SCL and SDA. So SDA when is connected to the SDA of Arduino and SCL of MPO 65 is connected to the SCL of Arduino. So now the I'll not talk much, much about the hardware part. If you want to read more, you can go to the links given in the description and you can read from there. We will code M our Arduino to get the values from MPO 6050. So to code Arduino, there are a lot of libraries available. We can use any one of them. Uh, also, you can use many libraries, but the problem with other libraries is that there is a lot of drift in the sensor. And when the rocket is up in the air, the drift, drift is too high and the values change very rapidly and we don't want that. So what we will do is uh, we will like to use Kalman filters. So Kalman filter, Kalman filter and complementary filters, they are used to filter the values and the values become more smooth and more stable. So to use Kalman filters, we will use a library which is known as Kalman filter library. So you can now turn on your computer and open the Arduino part. Now close this. Uh, and turn on so now what we need to do is we need to download the library for that we you just go to the sketch and uh, include library you can also download the library from the link i have given but you can direct direct directly from the arduino here you just type the name of the library it's calman filter calman press enter so here this Kalman filter library by Kristen, you just need to download it. I've already downloaded it, so it's showing downloaded. Now you just install it, turn it off. Now what we need to do is to open an example folder, go to examples and uh, go down to the Kalman filter library and here is MP6050, open this. Now what you need to do is that just Take this Arduino is connected and connect the port, then upload the port to your Arduino. So now the port is being uploaded. We'll look the data in the serial monitor and also in the serial plotter that how the values are changing. What happened if we shake the Arduino, if we shake the sensor, how the values change. Okay, what is this? Okay, so if you are seeing all this jibber jabber, just close this and go to the serial dot begin and change the bad rate here from to 96 double zero now upload it again so it is uploaded then another signal monitor now you can see the how the values are so here on the left side you can see that i will move my gyroscope so here the values are so the left hand side these are the values of roll and the right hand side the first values are the values of pitch so on the you can see that value changing negative to 20. So I am going to the negative direction of roll. Now let's bring to the stable condition. 
So now you can see the pitch. I'm changing the pitch. The values are increasing of the pitch. So you're saying you're getting the values from the sensor. Also, we are getting the values in positive direction. Now let's just turn on this and uh, turn on the serial plotter and see how the values are being changed. Okay. Serial plotter is not plotter not available. Okay, so we have already opened a serial monitor. First, we need to close that. Then only the serial plotter will work. Go to the serial monitor and close it. Okay. Product, you can see the red lines are the roll and blue is pitch so when i change the roll in the negative direction the red is changing and is going in a negative direction and when i take it in the positive direction the line goes in up in the positive direction but you can see the blue lines they are still stable roll is still stable now we are changing the roll roll angles and going in the negative direction so now if if i'm giving jerks also and i'm shaking also still the values are very constant and very same so this is the benefit of using this Calvin printer library. Okay, so now let's see that the, so here the video ends and um, what we will do in the future is this code is little more complex and what we have to do, we have to make a final code for our rocket. So this code will be sorted out and uh, in the next videos i'll make these code little short and more systematic so that can we can move ahead to a target of final code of our rocket thank you for watching